Hello, my name is Dr. George Machaki, and this is part of my e-portfolio, my reflective practice document. What I will be doing today will be just showing you uh, 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 examples of my syllabus and the rationale for the importance of having an effective syllabus as to help the student understand what the course objectives are, which will be a separate thing. Uh, so let's go on. I have uh, provided several syllabi that I've utilized, one for my um, uh, blended classes uh, that's half online and half uh, in person. It's for an apprentice uh, class uh, offered at uh, Harper College and also uh, uh, including, uh, I think, uh, insurance uh, base uh, program and adult fast track. I also have a 291, which is strategic management class uh, syllabus that basically is um, information about uh, strategic management. This is a capstone course that is offered at the college that takes all the learning and this is the last class they would uh, take. It's also a class that's offered as an honors uh, program at the college. And the last one is uh, uh, sports marketing. Again, so the reason I show these that my syllabuses are consistent, they have the same information, and this is what helps learning and uh, provides the uh, the student information that he or she needs as to be successful. So now I'm going to flip over to my Word document and I'll go through the most current one here and this is my, um, okay, I, I think it's large enough you can see it. It's a syllabus for uh, introduction of finance. Blended class, half online, half uh, in the classroom. It gives basic information about myself, always my picture, and here I do teach a lot of online classes, and I found that very important that uh, the, uh, the students realize who their instructor is, and it's a current picture, uh, fairly current, I think about like six months difference, so, but uh, it gives you information, the business uh, office, uh, everything you could do. It uh, in lessons the student know what is required for the class. They have a My Finance Lab, which is a software program to help the students learn uh, the certain concepts uh, at home, uh, do the math through examples, and it reinforces the learning. So I could utilize it the classroom. With, uh, I could utilize the time of the, uh, uh, when I meet with them face to face is for them to understand the rationale of what finance is about so to get that feeling not just knowing words and definition which is important and be able to do problems they have already had uh, as a prerequisite um, uh, management 150 which is uh, uh, like a finite math class for be uh, be uh, lack of better words and also accounting classes so they already know how to do the formulas now that they know how to do the formulas the hands-on how do you actually take the information and able to uh, uh, utilize that and show that you uh, have that expertise okay so you have that there's an active software I tell them the, the, I tell them how to buy it at the bookstore or they could buy it directly uh, from the publisher and again it's a finance class so I tell them look around to make sure you get the right um, uh, price that's all finance is about terms and condition they could also rent a book and all my uh, syllabuses they have that option to either rent a book or buy directly from Amazon unless it needs to have the software they could buy it at Amazon and buy the software separately and they have to come up already I'm beginning to get them to start thinking critically I do an introduction to all my classes on uh, with, uh, in this type of a format, I, I explain, it's like the, uh, I explain to them what they need to know before they actually come to my class, so they're prepared. Okay, so you got the textbooks, it tells you different costs on here, different options. They are required to do Blackboard as a course management system utilized here at Harper, and that's the only way you could get the contact hours required. They meet for uh, eight weeks, sometimes seven weeks, but then they do a lot of work online. And uh, this is uh, very important because it's also a transferable skill that they need in business because most of the courses they do uh, in business, some of the learning, everything else will be due online while they're in between customers or clients or doing some work. 
Now, I'm going to go later on, you know, tells you what's required. And uh, just so uh, Management 111 is basically an introduction of business. All right. Now, the course objectives, I have a whole section on the course objectives. I'm going to skim through this, but it lets them know what's required. The, the student uh, responsibilities and right. Tell them where they can find that. Uh, it's online at Harper College. You can print it out. Attendance and participation is, is, is critical. I cannot, you know, I'm a facilitator. When people say you're a teacher, I can't teach you anything. You have to want to learn. So by coming to class and interacting with other students and listening to me, and I could uh, answer your question specifically, that's the beauty of a, a strictly blended class. My online classes, they have short uh, recordings, videos on the subject matters. I have introduction to introduce them to the course material and tell them here's what it is. You'll see I have two other classes, the management uh, 291 that I listed the syllabus and also the marketing classes strictly online. So I do this a little bit differently. Uh, I'm trying to interact uh, Blackboard Collaborate which is like a go meeting so I could have like two courses uh, face to face. Since this is a blended class I'm looking at the syllabus but they uh, I'll utilize this format right now for this discussion here. I just threw that in to know the other ones when you look at the syllabus it has a little different tweak to it, for lack of a better word. Academic policy, policies, they are sell your phones. Uh, I understand that I deal with a lot of adults or even during the daytime. Some of them, their commitment is to the family or <coughs> work. All I ask them is that the phone goes off to use, show respect to the classroom, to the other students and the instructor, and to go out of the, uh, out of the uh, classroom, answer the phone, and come back in. I also look at, um, uh, in the syllabi, I explained during the class that this is a two-way street. If my cell phone, since I do consulting and other work other than teaching here at Harper, I'm a contractor, an adjunct instructor, what I basically tell if my cell phone goes off because I don't have it, I'm vibrate, I forget, I will give everyone a point uh, in their attendance, an extra point. And the reason for that is that I am not above the rules that I uh, impose or policies that I uh, expect from my students. It's all about respect or emotional intelligence. If I look at emotional intelligence, what are the social skills one needs in business? Okay, so uh, if that goes off, I sometimes had an instructor says, well, my instructor, his or her phone went off, and he just stopped the class and started doing the conversation. To me, that shows a lack of uh, respect towards the student. They pay for the class, they come to the class, my time should be focused on that student. As a facilitator, I try to get them to do critical thinking and uh, learn the information. I allow them to use laptops in the classroom uh, for notes, but if I, for some reason, see them giggling or other people looking at their laptops, I still, I just, uh, after class, I give them the respect, I'll ask them they have to sit up in front so I can keep an eye on it. Sometimes they tell me, no, I'm not doing that. I say, look, you got four other students behind you looking at your, uh, at your web link or whatever you're looking at, and it's not because you're taking notes, okay? So I, I still give them, and that's no different than if you would be in a business setting and you're uh, in a meeting and you're doing uh, texting and everything else that's disrespectful. That should go out, okay? All assignments are clearly stated by the instructor. I reinforce them. Also, I tell them that they have to use a, a Blackboard, uh, uh, log in at least two or three times during the, uh, the week. Uh, I utilize calendar within Blackboard to help them do it. The assignments are there. And if there's any, I send them reminders through Blackboard, through the email. If even uh, I understand students use different uh, email than the Harper email, for lack of better words. The syllabus stated that up in the front. They have to use the uh, Harper email that protects from the uh, FICA requirements. That's your privacy. You could also go to uh, uh, the, the IT here, the help lab, and they'll show you how to transfer your, your emails and everything else to your smartphone or to your iPhone. If that's, uh, that's, uh, that's what I do. I said they give you the directions. It's easy to go in there. They'll help you out. That's what Harper is very good at that. All right. My financial labs, all the tests are and homework are done uh, within the software provided by uh, by the publisher. Whenever there's a software by the publisher, I, that is accessible. Uh, I think uh, this one here is Pearson. There's other softwares that uh, 
the McGraw Hill, some of the other classes, also have a software. The software basically in the homework uh, uh, allows the student to have first exposure instead of coming to the classroom and hear it for the first time. It's required before the class. If we're doing chapter two, they should have already done the, uh, the homework assignment before they come to the class and did some of the software so they could ask the questions where they had problems with. One thing I found out about finance and math, uh, I may be a uh, 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 what do you call it? A fraction type of individual. You may be a decimal. You still come up with the same answer. I used to basically do all the problems in the classroom. People would fall asleep, boring. You know what I mean? Because I'm going the way I. I mean, I'm dyslexic, so I may change the problems a little bit differently or solve the problem, but still come up with the same uh, answer. I also try to always utilize the book. Uh, like I said, this book called uh, The Finance Lab has uh, uh, short uh, recordings by the, uh, by the publisher and it walks you step by step. Some students need a little more time to go back and forth. If I would just do all the problems, I may step one or two steps because I do it in my mind, where students I lose them. And some students take longer to grasp the concept. It's easier in your home setting. So software works well for here and then when having a problem I could go over it. I, uh, you know, I uh, just since it's a finance lab, I stress Excel and using the financial uh, calculator. Okay, uh, class preparations they should have the homeworks due for the class. Uh, first week of classes, since this is a fast track class, an eight week class, they already have the assignments prior to coming to the first week. I usually cover four or five chapters. And remember, it's easy to cover this because they do a lot of their work at home to the software and the examples and everything else and gives them a way to do it, okay? Uh, access denied, uh, uh, access and disability, if students have to have uh, accommodation, they could contact me. I utilize, uh, let me see, one, quickly I'll walk away here. I didn't mention it, but in all my classes, I utilize what I would call, hang on, I'm moving back, and I'll pull this out. I utilize what I would call the folder system. The folder system here, if you look at this, this is the current class I'm looking at. They have uh, the name that they want to be called. They tell me in the first class, I print it out. Sometimes they write it out by hand. Like if I have a larger class, this has to be a smaller class. Just so you understand how this works, it's how I interact with them. So they'll write their name out in here. And what happens with the folder system on this one here, uh, it has a number, and this is the number that fall into my uh, uh, roster. It makes it easy for me to uh, do the grading. They would put any kind of homework I give them. It's, it's included in here. And then if they miss the class, this one hasn't, they'll have the date was included on there and they have the next class to tell me Dr. George I was here and I'll make that uh, accommodate I'll, I'll change it. if you have any kind of issues you'll write the folders in here when I'm doing the homework I basically could uh, in the lack of better words able to um, respond to them uh, at the concern if you want to have a meeting or do you want to have a virtual uh, a meeting with me uh, utilizing Blackboard Collaborate. This works out well because at the beginning of class, every class I hand out the folder and they receive the folder that makes a connection with the student. I let them know if this is uh, my rationale and that's how I take attendance and I get to know them. So they could always put some information in there and then I will be able to make an accommodation once they provide me the uh, proper documentation from um, um, uh, uh, from the ADS department, okay? All right, equal opportunity we have there, Blackboard, they're required to do the Blackboard, course materials required, all the homework, everything submitted to me electronically. It's easier for me, I'm on the road, or I'm someplace else, I have my laptop, I could grade, and it's basically part of the permanent file. So I tell them this is an important utilize, utilization of Blackboard. A student's email, they only could uh, email me through Harper Gmail. That's the reason I know that they are the students I'm, uh, I'm talking to. I don't look at other emails outside the Harper. This gives them the firkin and gives them protection uh, for privacy. Whoever looks at your side, that's your, uh, your responsibility and that's if you give them access. But I only respond to that. So if you send me an email from George Machaki Comcast, I will not open up. It goes into my... Uh, uh, for lack of better words, my uh, holding file or, or my uh, junk uh, file. 
uh, and that reason is, uh, you know, and I also tell them to make sure to put the name of the course and what the issue is so I could open it up since I do get a lot of emails not only here and near the school I teach and also my uh, online students or my, uh, uh, my own business, okay? All right, <clears throat> so here we go, financial, uh, uh, the lecture, I mentioned that before. Now the score schedule, I always tell them how they're uh, uh, graded, and I give them a percentage. Since it's a finance, all math, I try to incorporate math in a percentage. Students can say, okay, if I don't come to class, remember, come into classes if you participate in discussion. I also inform them that part of participation is that if they are sidebars, talking, blah, 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 and I have to stop the class, I use this as a course management. So they get so many 30 points because it's a night class. It's from 6 o'clock to uh, 10 o'clock, four hours. <coughs> and, you know, so it's equivalent. It's only worth, it's worth 23% of my class. If I can't get them into my class, then uh, I can't teach them. In my fully online class, they're required, the 23% instead of the uh, attendance, they're required to do discussion boards. And there they'll do four, uh, they're, they're required to respond to uh, uh, seven or eight students within the discussion within a week, not all on one day. Uh, otherwise, that's a downloading. And you'll see the percentage, okay? So you have that in class assignments. They are, I believe, in learning uh, organization, uh, learning. Uh, model, which basically says if I could uh, get students to teach the course, this chapter it uh, is more reflective. So they have to find an article for whatever, uh, if we're covering chapter one on uh, present value, and they have a lot of different subtitles within that chapter. They are to basically look at that chapter and find a subtitle, find an article or a link, and they will have to, they come up in the class and I break them up in teams, collaborative learning, and they will have uh, 20 minutes, uh, you know, and the first one's about 10, five minutes, you know, to talk about the article and how that relates to the uh, subject reading. Remember, they know how to do the formula. It's easy. Plug in the numbers. Once you have the right formula, they learn that through the uh, uh, Pearson's um, a software lab. What I want them to do is be able to take that formula and conceptually understand what's going on out there, critical thinking skills. And then while they're lecturing, while they're presenting this, it gives them the confidence of not only written communication, but oral communication, which is a necessity in business. You need both. And I will add on to that subject matter, expand, and that's how we start off uh, the, uh, the class lecture. They're always involved in learning and exchanging ideas and working like how one would be in a business situation. Okay, uh, my financial uh, uh, interactive online assignments, I have uh, t ten their homework assignments to help them do the homework. So they, have, they do the homework first and then they do the quizzes. This reflects and helps uh, build up the confidence in how to uh, select a problem, how to use Excel and other things. They have eight exams, okay, but there's no final exam. The final exam will be a final research paper and recorded le uh, uh, presentation. Like I'll show you some of the recording ones, some of the students I have in there, and what they basically do. They at the end they take this knowledge and as a template. So every chapter. Every week that we're uh, discussing three or four chapters, that chapter is a building block for this final uh, paper that they will do as a collective team. On my fully online class, so they will do it individually. If I have a 16-week online class, I do uh, create teams online, <coughs> and they'll work within a team doing a section, and they will do. The, I record them within the classroom using Cam Camtasia Relay. After they re are recorded, I basically take that uh, recording, and we do a feedback. How did you do well? The questions I ask them is about the business. So find a, 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 in this case, a, a, a business that is failing, corporate, and utilizing the skills that they had to uh, uh, show that they at least have a basic understanding of the concepts required. I break this down. So here's my A. It's a running total, and then uh, basically here's the finance, the lab. And I do it by the days, on week one, here's the dates. It's easier for students, and also when I do any kind of assignments, I create it on Blackboard so it's on their calendar so you understand that, okay? So that's my syllabus and the network. You have everything on there. I think I covered everything out here. That's my syllabus, and this is my, uh, how that helps uh, learning and, uh, and expands my teaching philosophy within the students so he or she could understand that. So that's this one. So let's see, I go in here, and let's see, if you look at this one, this is a fully online class. This is my marketing class. Again, I go through the objectives, understanding, student outcomes, 
you know what I mean? So well, policy is a little different. This was a 12-week course, Mondays and the Sundays. I give them the time on that. A suggested one, uh, I want you to spend per week, 14 hours per week. I bring this one. This is a fully online. The other information on my blended class I talked before, I explained that uh, during the discussion. I mean, here I had to have a little more written. Again, here's the book. Uh, the ISB number and here's the technology, here's what they need. They have to have a CD-ROM, a printer, actually they have to have a web camera because some of my lectures are uh, interactive, not just typing in. When they do uh, the uh, classroom, they will have the web camera and audio. I try to prepare this class and uh, uh, like go meeting and utilize a blackboard which is still contained within the, uh, the within the course management system as a tool to help students learn. Okay, and here's the resolution, here's all the assignments, policy. Again, uh, on this one here, they have a personal journal. I forgot to mention in the other one, the personal journal at the end of the week, they tell me what they learned, a reflection paper. When I look at that reflection paper, there they can say, Dr. George, I've got this issue. It's another opportunity for me to see what they learned, another opportunity for me to reflect and respond to them on a one-on-one -on -one other than the discussion board. When we do the discussion board, weekly discussion board, this one's only, uh, is worth uh, 10 points, but if I look at the weekly discussion board, I also have like a water cooler. So every so often, I'll say water, ask anything you want, and I'll respond, or I encourage students to help each other. I said, don't wait on the instructor. This is part of the learning of going to online classes, how to do networking. And part of this is part of networking. They have personal channels, they have written assignments. A little different, not only the discussion board, they have to write at least three or four paragraphs and respond to seven or eight other students. And they also have quizzes and everything else. Again, no final paper, no final exam. What happens is the final exams worth a little bit of the last uh, chapters. It's like a capstone of the whole book. It's a little worth more points, but they also have to have a written assignment. They have quizzes, proactive uh, participation, academic honors, equal opportunity, everything we had. And again, before, review the syllabus, everything else in here. Again, it broke down by the dates when it's required from uh, Sunday to Sunday. Then I turn it off and then go back for it. If they miss the class, they lose the points. I, at the beginning, I give them a little thing. My whole thing is business is driven by service dates, and I want you to make the commitment that you are. It's not like you've taken some online classes and you basically do everything in the last two weeks. That's not how it works in business. I have to be consistent within the week to help people interact and build uh, relationships with them, okay? So we have that, and that's my other syllabus. Let's see, and the last one here is uh, my strategic management. Again, three classes, always the same picture. I change it because some students like to change. Gives you the information. <clears throat> this is strictly fully online. I have the outcomes, the smaller outcome, because this is a strategic class. It's a capstone of everything else. So I tie everything else in, you know, improve, apply a uh, principle, responsibilities, courses, require the book, again, to get the information. What's required on this? These are fully online. I let them know up front. Some students I have, uh, these students here are basically, these are called my marketing classes, maybe the first class they're taking at Harper, so I got to spend a little bit more. I also have a quick review explaining the syllabus and the course requirement. Again, grading scales, there's our stuff, personal journals, article reviews. They do this in the class, they press the articles and expand them, and that's part of the forum discussions, okay? My lab, again, in this one here, is uh, utilizing the software. So first exposure is done at home. When they come into the discussion board, they have questions asked me as to improve on their critical thinking skills. And again, journal entry, each week 10 points related to the topic, written assignment, cases, article review, uh, final paper, uh, gives you information, proactive participation, academic A uh, little different because remember, some of the stuff in the blended class I could explain to them and talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, okay? And again, before class and everything else. All right, so that is everything else here, my uh, summarization and what's required and how I utilize the syllabi to basically part of my teaching philosophy and uh, uh, to, to, uh, as I, I forgot what the heck it was. Uh, let me go back in here. <laughs> I'm like a student, come on. Uh, all right, it's basically to uh, uh, my, my uh, syllabus examples as my reflective practice, how to utilize this for to encourage my uh, teaching philosophy and how I tie everything else in. And this is the first time they uh, meet me or look at my paper and it gives them a good idea of what the course is about. Thank you very much. 
Okay. Let's see. Huh, 24 minutes. I know uh, uh, my uh, Harper or even the College of Lake County where I teach at, I should keep it under 15 minutes. Bear with me. Just go along. Thank you very much.